A venturi tube is a device used to measure the flow rate of a fluid, typically a liquid or a gas, by exploiting the principles of the venturi effects. It consists of a tube with a narrow throat section and a wider inlet and outlet sections. When the fluid flows through the tube, the velocity of the fluid increases as it passes through the narrow throat, causing a decrease in pressure. The venturi effect is a phenomenon in fluid dynamics named after Italian physicist Giovanni Battista Venturi, who studied the phenomenon in the 18th century. It states that as the fluid velocity increases, the pressure decreases. This is due to the conservation of mass principle, which states that the total mass flow rate of an incompressible fluid remains constant along a flow path. The key components of a venturi tube include Inlet section The fluid enters the tube through this part and its initial pressure and velocity are measured here. Throat section This is the narrowest part of the tube where the fluid's velocity reaches its maximum and the pressure reaches its lowest point. Outlet section After passing through the throat, the fluid gradually expands to its original pipe diameter and its pressure and velocity change accordingly. Pressure tabs There are pressure tabs located at the inlet and throat sections of the venturi tube. These tabs are used to measure the pressure differential across the tube. To measure the flow rate using a venturi tube, pressure tabs are usually installed at the inlet and throat sections. The pressure difference between these two points is measured and by using Bernoulli's equation, the flow rate can be determined. The flow rate through a venturi tube can be calculated using the equation Q equals A1 multiplied by V1 equals A2 multiplied by V2, where Q is the flow rate, A1 is the cross-sectional area of the inlet section, A2 is the cross-sectional area of the throat section, V1 is the velocity of the fluid at the inlet, V2 is the velocity of the fluid at the throat. To calculate various parameters associated with the venturi effect, several equations are utilized. Here are the key equations used in venturi effect calculations. Continuity equation A1V1 equals A2V2. This equation represents the principle of conservation of mass, where A1 and A2 are the cross-sectional areas of the pipe at the inlet and throat sections, respectively, and V1 and V2 at the corresponding velocities. Bernoulli's equation P1 plus half rho V1 squared equals P2 plus half rho V2 squared, where P1 and P2 are the pressures at the inlet and throat sections, respectively. Rho is the fluid density, and V1 and V2 are the corresponding velocities. Velocity at the throat V2 V2 equals A1 divided by A2 multiplied by V1. This equation calculates the velocity at the throat section based on the cross-sectional areas and the velocity at the inlet section. Pressure difference. Pressure difference equals P1 minus P2. This equation calculates the pressure difference between the inlet and throat sections. Velocity at the inlet, V1. V1 equals square root of 2 multiplied by the difference between P1 and P2, all divided by rho. This equation determines the velocity at the inlet section based on the pressure difference and the fluid density. These equations form the basis for performing venturi effect calculations, allowing you to determine parameters such as velocities, pressure differences, and cross-sectional areas associated with the fluid flow through a venturi device. Venturi tubes are commonly used in various applications, such as in fluid mechanics laboratories, industrial processes, and flow measurement systems. They offer a reliable and accurate method for determining the flow rate of fluids. However, it does introduce some pressure losses in the system, so it is essential to consider this factor 
when designing a flow measurement setup using a Venturi tube. Calibration and correction factors may also be necessary to obtain precise flow rate measurements, especially for non-ideal fluid conditions or other factors affecting the flow.